All right, hello, hello. Uh, another joyous day in the RV world. Um, today we get ready for the fall and winter and we have some sealing to do on this thing. After being six months on the road, um, this thing has vibrated, wiggled, you know, just all the plastic kind of moved in the, in, in the shower bed and we have a few airtight um, well, spots we need to make airtight um, and we need to insulate and seal down here at the base. One day I was taking out, actually when we were doing the TV video, I was taking out that TV to move it outside and noticed there was light at the bottom, like a, a daylight. I was like, where in the world, how is daylight? That's not good. Creatures, airflow, everything. So we went to look in and I've known this for about a month, but I uh, got some blankets and put it down there just cause it was during the summer, the winter cold air will get in there uh, hot air just kind of gave the rig more ventilation is the way I looked at it but I'm gonna show you underneath this is where the rig meets the uh, the base the base shell basically I guess you would say the floorboard but if you look right along here the uh, the seal has come undone basically through driving and everywhere it's along the whole way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up wipe it down and then uh, we're gonna reseal it so that's one of the seals on a little guy max everyone needs to check underneath here where the floorboard meets the curve of the shell right underneath the propane tank look underneath there If you're a full-timer like we are, and this thing's been moving all over the place, um, the wind, everything we've got driven through, all of it, um, you know, it wear and tears. And everyone knows, even in uh, like Class A models, like some of our sewers here at the camp, uh, these are some of the RV sewers. Um, they're here for three weeks, work camping, and they're gonna move on to another camp. It's a really cool program, but um, even these big rigs and the fifth wheels, everyone knows you gotta check your slides, you gotta check your window seals. And this is the perfect time to do it before winter, y'all. So um, we're gonna get into this. We went, I got this ProFlex RV flexible sealant. It's in black. This is what I'm gonna use down there. And just get your standard cock gun. This has kind of been my industrial cleaner on the road. Just the rig itself, like some of the industrial metal by the propane gadgets, things like that, that I've been cleaning it uh, with. So, I'm going to clean this up. the prettiest job but um it gets the job done so we're gonna let that dry i'm probably gonna put on another coat here in um a couple days i'm just gonna let that cure and then go over it again um but yeah so all the little guy max owners just check that if you've been living full time in one you know there's gonna be natural vibrations and stuff like that in the seals but that's an important one on this rig that's one of the main ones uh so y'all check that out and then now we're gonna go seal some of the stuff inside so another place um, I'm seeing a little bit of air being able to come in and it's probably 
I don't know. I'll have to cut through it if I ever to get to these pipes again to, to put this stuff down, um, this insulation spray foam. But where I did cut this hole right at the shower pan, just the 90 degree elbows that go to the gray tank and everything, there's just a fraction of a space where cold air is just coming straight in um, through these walls. And so you can see that daylight right there and there. So I cut this hole. I know a lot of you people are like, oh my gosh, why, why did you cut that hole? Da, 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 da. Um, just peace of mind here. At the beginning of our trip in Florida, I threw our outside chairs in and I put this hole in the um in the wall so we already had this issue and so we put up a kick plate um that covers it up just nicely but it also gives us access underneath here to check for plumbing issues and everything else um as we live in this so that hole is there can't control things like this um so what we did because originally the shower pan we I had to go to our dealer southland rv here in georgia and get the j trap um replaced down here because um they were saying it clogs up or the tilt was wrong i don't know so little guy does have this cut out here and they just basically have this white sealant so you unscrew it and that gives you access underneath the actual shower so we check that is water still coming out can you lower it a little bit more? All right. I'm gonna lower it a little bit more so she can see if more water comes down. But you know, I mean, a lot, I know a lot of viewers might be like, oh gosh, RVers, you know these things happen. But um, other people who don't do tiny living, RV living, you, you might be like, oh my gosh, what a hassle. But things like this happen at your house. Your water heater blows out, roof leaks, gutters leak. So this is just a little bit more interruptive maintenance we have to be mindful of when we take showers so we don't have pooling water um and just to show you we uh took out my drawer it is an actual mess in here right now because we're doing all this cleaning but um underneath the little guy uh here is uh your power box control all your wires plumbing around those 90s this is right underneath the shower pan um to the right of the screen is the hole where you can unscrew and have access um but i'm going to try to fill in those gaps getting uh, some of that silver sheet insulation and cut out a piece and put it on here and so when we screw this back up there's a layer of insulation because there's nothing like this is podunk that ain't doing nothing. And uh, where did we put those screws? Didn't I? You had them over here somewhere. Did I? Yes, you had them outside. <laughs> you can see right here, this is that hairline crack I was talking about from the inside. This is going into the gray tank. Um, so just our kitchen water, our shower water, but there's just a slight gap here that is gonna be letting good and cold air in the winter. So check your little guy, Max, and see if you have that here at this cutout. You probably do, because the steel frame is right here, so there's not much uh, they probably could have done about that. Um, I mean, it could have been sprayed and insulated outside. Um, but try to look at your little guy, Max, and see if you can seal up this. It's another place where cold air might be getting in. Not the prettiest job, but I'm gonna come back and shave that with a razor blade. But that is uh, completely sealed now from the cold air from the outside. I might do the same thing on in the inside. That is uh, the Daptex Plus multi-purpose foam sealant. Easy waterproof cleanup, won't overexpand for windows, doors, pipes, and vents. So try to use this stuff. Um, this is what I'm using, or I'll let you know how it goes. But um, conserve energy, save money, water resistant, paintable. Go for it. Try it out. <laughs> All right, so we are going to uh, put this back on. It just goes right in up underneath here. As you can see, I guess to the shower pan and everything. 
Well, we have to uh, go to the store and get some more insulation. We're gonna, we have a lot of this for the windows and you're, that's gonna be a whole nother separate video, I guess, of winterizing, getting ready to live in the Little Guy Max in the winter. It's not a four season, but we make it four seasons. Okay, so we are inside the Little Guy Max. Bending, I guess you should say, or where we had a little play against the wall and the cabinetry to let some air um, in is in this back corner. So this is above above the fridge. This is where we kind of put our towels, deodorants, things like that, my contacts. That's kind of how we use this. But if you look, if you see that light. So I was gonna seal this from the inside. I realized the best way probably be on the outside. And I'll show you why. <laughs> There is a, uh, you have your vent spaces here on the little guy Max. Um, I'll take them all out. I've been checking all this, blowing out the dust. I don't really see any issues going on in this one, but it's up top. These just clip out. Um, they're usually up there like that. You just turn those black knobs and it pops out. I'll be fixing that seal right here. I'm going to be uh, putting some sealant on the outside instead of doing that all on the inside. So this is at the upper um, the upper vent on the little guy Max. Getting ready for the winter and everything. Check that. If anything, even if it's not separated, it'd be smart just to seal it there. Go around all the edges and uh, make that sealed off everywhere possible. Anywhere cold air can travel. But that's how you can kind of live in this thing in four seasons when it wasn't made to be in four seasons. Uh, keep the cold air, keep the cold air out. Right, Corey? Right. Oh, right, Corey? <laughs> yeah. She might, you might be able to see her. And so I'm gonna be using this Loctite PL Marine ad adhesive sealant. This is the stuff I'm using um, for that. It's probably not, it's clear set, it's clear. And it's more for uh, marine, but that's usually the best stuff anyways. Watertight, flexible bond, fast setting, 24 hour cure. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm just dragging it with the finger um, to seal that in. Nothing fancy. Uh, no one sees this, so it doesn't have to be, um, I mean, it's still a clean line, but it doesn't have to be perfect. But. And that's done. So we got the storage space above the refrigerator seal. We sealed the bottom. We sealed the bottom of the actual camper, <laughs> this part. And we resolved a bit of it. We didn't resolve, but we got down to the basis of where the water is dripping out of the shower pan. A little bit to do with the pitch and a little bit to do with sealing that wet bath around um, the cover plate, I guess you would say, for the actual toilet. Um, and she is rubber gloved up, been cleaning. It's a beautiful day in the RV world. Red. <laughs> All right, fellow Voyagers, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we will uh, have more videos for you with the little guy Max. Enjoy on the road. See you later.